Hi, this is Fred with Quality One Engravers. I'm going to show you how to create a real simple shape that you'd use for uh, engraving. I just drew a box on the screen. Actually, I should have stayed with it. I double clicked on it and the, um, the width of this is 2.5 and the height of it is 7 8 which is 0.875 and then I know it has I'm gonna hit the uh, F7 key so I zoom in on it and normally if you're going to be um, uh, making rounded corners you go to the right so I always say go to the right to make it right but I'm, in this case I'm making a scalloped plate for engrave for a decorative uh, plate for perpetual trophy so I know that the radius that I'm going to be using is 0.188 and then just hit the tab key to set that and then just say okay so here I have my plate that's uh, 0.875 by two and a half and then I know there's also an eighth inch diameter circle so I'm going to make this if you don't know the number being 0.0625, sometimes I put in 0.125, which is double the size. And then I come up here making sure this is locked, and I just put in 50%. And then it's the size that I want. Now, I know that I want this centered on here. So I could move this to a, a known position, but I'll do it with a couple of tricks. I know that I'm going to use that I want another one duplicated over here at exactly two inches away so I can go under options and grave lab setup general preferences and I'm going to change the Y dimension to, to zero and the X offset to two so now when I go control D it duplicates it two inches over I also have a hotkey control alt D and that brings me up to here so I'm going to take these and the next thing I'm going to do is hit control G to group it. And then I'm going to hold the shift key down and click on this outer border. Then I'm going to hit alt K and I want to align to the last object if that's not what's selected and then go center center. So now this is this is the plate that we're making. Now that seems to look a little bit close for this actually you know what it's two and a quarter so what I'm going to do is I'm going to alt G to ungroup this delete this select it control alt D which is my hotkey change this to 2.25 say OK control D hold the shift key down select this one control G to group it now I'm gonna select this next and if you remember the last thing I did I did the alt K and I did center center so if now I hit control K it will do that last step for me so I only had to do one keystroke so now that looks a little more exact to the part that that I'm doing now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this and go, just click on control H and control H is to make a path and then I'm going to save this file save someone's going to get that and right now I'm going to just put it in my one logos temp directory and these are brass plate shapes Okay, and if this had a specific number on it, you could, of course, have added that. Let me take it down to, um, I like using a, oops, a little bit bigger than that, quarter inch. And I like using my four line font for this, just so I can read it real easy. Just a good practice to get into. Where is it? If you can find it, double click. And this might be one, two, three, and uh, from JRS. And then, of course, you could smoosh it down so that when you come back to it, you'll be able to, to call that up. Okay, so, and then I'm going to just go File, Save. 
Now I'm going to go File, New. And the customer wants a, um, a plate that's 18 by 24. So I'm going to go to my layout, which I've got. And my width is 24. And my height is 18. And I say OK. And they also told me that there was going to be a 3 by 12 up at the top. So put that one in. 12 by 3 and probably the scallops on this is going to be the same and of course um, as I go in then I'm going to take 0.188 and then hit the tab key to select it now I want this centered on the on the on the plate size I can do one of two things I can hold the shift um, I can press the home I'm sorry click and then alt home and end and that centered is it on the plate but obviously that's not where it's supposed to be and I'm wondering if the plates go down this way which was a horizontal but anyways I'll figure that out. now this could also have been a plate and I could have added four holes to it if I knew what the hole dimensions were but I'm gonna go file import and I need to bring in a cat link drawing where they at CDL and I want to go to my computer C drive one logos uh, temp and where did I just put that brass plate okay now this will bring in the entire drawing I could have opened up another instance and I could have copied and pasted it but I'm going to just bring the whole thing in so there's that shape and I'll just put it about where I want it and then I'm going to just delete this portion of it now the customer told me that they wanted to go uh, 14 down and 6 across so this is where I'm going to use my array and I like going you can go between objects or object to, I personally like object to object and in this case I don't want it spinning around so there's no spin and the distance across I'm gonna say is gonna be four inches and let me just make the distance down I'm gonna make it um, it really doesn't matter I'll make it 1.3 three four five so there's my six across and of course that's a little bit too much going across so I'm going to take this down and maybe it's either going to be 3.5 might be a little bit not quite enough uh, 3.75 might be a little too much but let's just put it 3.75 for argument's sake and then the distance down they want 14 I don't know if we're going to get 14. There is 14, so let's go just a little bit less. See, even if it were 1 inch, 1.1 spacing, I don't think we would get that in there. So possibly they wanted it oriented the other way. So I'm going to click on Close and Control z to eliminate it. And I'm going to go to my Layout plate size and this time I'm going to change my make this 18 by 24 and say OK and this might be the plate that they want I'm going to put this a little closer to the top I'm going to hold the alt key home and end and just hold the arrow key and take this up to about where it might go And maybe the top is at about 0.5 inches from the top and of course that's already centered and I'm going to take this and move it about right here go back to my array and I'm going to go I want to go six across and I'm going to have to shorten this up so let's make this 2.75 and then close now I want this to be of course aligned and I'm gonna to have to type that in at nine inches 
I could have grouped it and done the centering. So this is at nine inches, and if I look at the left edge, it's seven eighths from the left. And of course, if I click over here, it would be seven eighths from the right. So that's possibly how they want it. Now I'm going to select this, go to my array, and now I'm going to duplicate this down, and they want 14. 14, 14. So I just had it going the wrong direction initially, so I'm going to make this. And that's possibly about right. So either 1.3 or 1.25 is probably what they want. I'm going to click on close. Of course, it's real easy to, to switch that out. And once I get it about in position, one of the things that I'm going to do is I'm going to actually delete these and do it over again. Because I'm going to show you another trick. I'm going to go F7 to zoom in. I'm going to break this apart, break path, and I'm going to change the color. I'm going to just call this P2, and I'm going to call this P3. Just, it really doesn't matter what you call it. It's just that when, if we, you want to do spotting of the holes, you want to be able to select each individual item. So again, I'm going to do the array, and since I haven't moved this, this will be all the same. So I go to 6, and I can, if I want, I can put 14 in there, and tab key, and it brings it up, and there's my plate, and close, F8 to zoom in. And of course, if things are changing a little bit, I can, of course, move this down a little bit, and I can take this and move this down just a little bit to see. Now this is how it's going to lay out and you're possibly going to be using a drill um, and let me just go ahead and just for argument's sake I'm going to add these holes I'm going to hit F7 to zoom in on this and I'm going to put some eighth inch holes here and I know that it's 0 0.06625 for eighth inch hole is the radius and I want it to be the number the color 2 to match the holes here and I don't know exactly where this is located but I know that this is a, a 3 by 12 so I'm gonna just kinda guess that this is in the corner maybe 0 0.3 inches from each side I don't know so I'm gonna go to my array now you may wanna uh, write this down because when you if you had to redo this array again it would be nice to know what array that you use so uh, matter of fact I'm gonna just close and what was that array value um, I have a nice handy little program here that I sometimes use where I'll copy things to a clipboard and I'll take this and then I go edit and I paste it close this edit and paste and it brings up just a little JPEG capture uh, oftentimes I'll do that so I'm going to take this and I'm going to go to my array and of course I want two across and two down and of course those holes aren't going to be right so I'm going to go across and add a little here That might be about it at 11 and a quarter and this dimension maybe two and two uh, two and a quarter and then close now I need to look at this and this has to be uh, let's make this an exact number this y dimension I'm going to go to the center nine and I'll make this exactly 2.8 is the center so I'm going to select just these and make this exactly 2.8 and of course this has got to be exactly 9 for the center and if I hit F8 there's the your drawing now let's say that I wanted to spot all these holes because you're going to be doing some drilling and that may be the the only thing that you're doing here I'm going to hold the alt key click on the number 2 and you'll see the only thing there to to select is just the blue dots and what I'm going to do is go over to here 
and go to not drill contour but drill centers and you can select any tool here it really doesn't matter what the tool that you select uh, but if you select a larger tool you'll see it a little bit easier so in my case I'm going to select like a um, an, I'm actually going to select an end mill a 125 end mill and I don't want to go quite that deep uh, you could make it a zero depth if you make it a zero depth whatever your controller is set at that's what it will drill to but I'm going to make it uh, 0.1 inch make that number more correct and maybe I want to do it in two passes so it's going to go 50 thousandths 50 thousandths say OK and I forgot what color I had made it but we'll soon find out and I'll do a lot of little blinking here I guess I made it 187 uh, I should have made it something like number four let me just change it to number four and say okay so now if I look at each one of these little holes now the reason that this is kind of grayed out is because only two is visible so I'm going to alt two and you can see now there's the number four is is all these little screw holes that it will take two passes to drill through and if I want to do if I want to plot this I'll hold the alt key click on the P4 select just this go to engrave go to output now the table size I have set up here and here's gonna be another little issue for you. you have a larger plate than your actual table size potentially uh, let's see this plate is 18 by 25 I'm sorry you've got a 16 inch table so but you can see you're coming down more than an inch and you're coming up more than an inch so you should be okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my engraving default go to setup and you know what I'm gonna just make this a 30 33 inch table by 33 inch table apply and okay it really doesn't matter what size you make it as long as your plate size is smaller than your tables is the plate size that you're designing to here so now I'm going to go I'm going to select this and in this case if you've only got a table size that's 24 inches so let me just draw your table size in and I'm going to label that P1 and I'm going to hold the control key to add and I'm going to make that P1 and I'm going to put this the corner of this at uh, minus one. I'm sorry, I need to put that at zero. And this at one. So here's your uh, table size that's 18 inches, but your plaque size, your table size is 16 by 25. What did I make this? Jesus. Um, I have a table size of 16 available I'll unlock this and make this 25 and I guess you're gonna have to rotate this let me just rotate this so here's gonna be your your table size you're not going to be able to get this in at least with the dimensions that I created here you will not be able to get that in on your table unless you get these considerably closer or you move it up an exact amount since you're right right on the edge so that's going to be a little bit of a problem but basically let me at least show you this portion of it you just click here we'll have to go through how to get this on your table select this go to engrave and then output and then of course the top edge would have to be the corner of this plaque but if you were gonna fake it out you'd have to move it up such that you uh, gained an inch or so on the top and bottom